Let's talk moose. Literally. First, I start with a cow in estrus call. I've cut a lot of the footage out in between the calls that I was doing, so everything in this video happens more frequently than it actually did in real time.
Well, uh, this morning I had one, two, three, three moose. Compact, but I know the mic didn't pick it up, but it picked up the one from last night. And I'll, and I'll show you uh, that footage. I'll show you that footage now. Last night I had a real nice bull. You can tell he had big pans the way the sound I was making when I was raking the trees. I waited to set up the camera until I had multiple moves calling back. And then this happens. New message, standing by. No! Remember, put your phone on vibrate. Normally we don't have any cell phone service up in this area, but I was up on top of a high hill and I got cell phone service.
Yeah, so I, I know I said I was going to do the uh, cat update video next, 
but uh, I'm waiting on some uh, more photos back from a lady. They're going to do a size comparison photos. Have somebody stand where the photographer was and someone walk where the cat was. And that's the only way that you can really uh, get some sort of size comparison. There was a, a cow leading a bull away from me in here yesterday. She was like... <coughs> and calling about that frequently and just coming right up through here, right on up through. But then I had a big bull just down back, back of here. Come in, just raking these trees and grunting and stuff. It was pretty good. No videos of the moose, but you can hear them calling and interacting with me. And then there was another bull that came in on the on a lower bog. And you hear him grunting a couple times, but I don't know if the camera picked it up. I'll have to play back the audio and bump up the volume. But anyway, uh, there was, and then one moose came right in past right below us or below me us meaning you guys the camera so beautiful morning it was such a beautiful morning i had to get up and come up here and do some calling there there was a like i said tree moose back there but this gives me a, a greater view so i thought i'd come up here and have a little look here Try to get something on the camera. Anyway, uh, that's it for this morning. I'm gonna head home, do some work on the garage. Uh, maybe I'll add up a little bit of this video and maybe post that for you guys this evening. So, uh, anybody looking for a moose? The last three nights, the last three days, they've been really calm. The rut was kicked in pretty good. It may uh, start slowing down now. But, uh, oh, now's the time to go out and call in your moose. But you, you can't stay on the road. You've got to go in the woods. you got to get away from the road. Just make sure you can get a bike to it. it makes it that much easier. So up here with Evan, yeah. And Evan, what did you get tonight? I got my black bear, first one. First one, eh? Yeah. And how do you feel? <sighs> Pretty excited. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's, yeah. It's something else, eh? Yeah. yeah I don't want to put the light right into your feet. I don't know that's yeah. too hard. But, uh, yeah. You did yeah, a good job. Uh, dropped the bear right in the barrel. Yeah, dropped him right there. He stuck in the barrel about 10 or 15 seconds before he started crawling. And he it's never he never made it uh, 25 yards. No. Yeah. He did all right. <laughs> good job, buddy. Now let's go take a look at that bear. Oh yeah. Uh, I didn't hit record. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. All right. So and here's the bear. Nice looking bear. Big big yeah. bear. Big male. <laughs> yeah. And it takes up the full size of the box here. I don't know if you guys can see it, but it's it's pressed up hard against the. On the side. Uh, on the side of the box. And like I said before, yeah. all from Charlie showing us where to go and how to beat. It's our first time doing it. Yeah. Good luck. Yeah. And you didn't take you guys long to get them tonight? What? Less than an hour you're in Less than an hour, yeah. yeah. Good awesome. job, guys. Awesome. Rain's coming down now. We gotta get the camera put away. Awesome. Uh, get out of here. Good work, guys. Awesome. Beautiful bear. Big, big boar. That's the man who shot him right there. That's the fella that helped skin him. <laughs> so first bear, Evan? Yeah, first one. What do you think, buddy? Awesome. Love this one. Get in, get in by your bear so I get a... Yes, sir. So that's going to Corner Book tomorrow to... Yep. You know who it's going to? Newfoundland Taxidermy Services. Yeah. Newfoundland Taxidermist Services in Cornerbrook. Give him a little shout out. You're 
out here on the west coast and you get an animal you want somebody to do taxidermistry work just take it in that fella anything you want to say Evan thank you Charlie for all the help not a problem buddy yeah. I, I didn't do much <laughs> gave us all the good spots <laughs> all right beautiful bear you got a nice dark muzzle on him too it's usually darker than most, isn't it? Yeah, normally they're quite tan on the muzzle, eh? Yeah. You got a nice dark muzzle. Big old head. You, you know uh, you know it's a good bear when the ears look small and the head looks like a big old pumpkin. Beautiful bear. So now rabbit season's open, or small game season, so I'm going to be going out and putting up some rabbit snares and stuff. Still got lots of work to do. I'm on a timeline to finish my garage. I have a four day event coming up where I'll be out on the land teaching, uh, teaching some stuff about being out on the land and, and learning a bunch of stuff about being out on the land because there, there's going to be a, a bunch of people out there so no matter who you're out there with you always learn. Right? I'm going to take off now. The moose seem to be bedded down for the morning. It's probably about 10 o'clock, 10.30 now. And uh, I got a foam, but it's back in, back in my side by side. So I'm gonna pack up the camera gear. I'm going that way. And I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please uh, give it a like, thumbs up. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And share if that's something you're into. See you on the next video. I didn't really leave my camera here.